This is the story of GLP-1, one hormone with a great big tale to tell. It starts back in 1987, when research groups first characterized the correct structure and insulin-stimulating effect of GLP-1. Around the same time, scientists discovered that the incretin effect is disrupted in patients with type 2 diabetes. The incretin effect is a phenomenon whereby more insulin is released within the body when glucose is consumed compared to when it is administered directly into the blood. The incretin effect gave researchers the idea that GLP-1 could be used to treat diabetes and in 1993 Professor Michael Nauck and colleagues showed that GLP-1 could indeed completely normalize blood sugar levels in patients with type 2 diabetes. Researchers continued exploring the potential of GLP-1 as a therapy for diabetes. This proved to be a challenge because GLP-1 is broken down in the body within minutes by a degrading enzyme called DPP-4. However, researchers were able to overcome this problem by developing GLP-1-like molecules that were resistant to DPP-4 breakdown. One of the leading researchers in this area, Professor Jens Holst, remembers it as a very exciting time in the research. He knew that the findings could have a huge impact on the lives of millions of people with type 2 diabetes all around the world. The GLP-1 receptor agonist Exendin-4 was discovered in the saliva of a lizard in the desert of Arizona. And in 2005, a twice-daily formulation of Exendin-4, Exenatide, was launched. GLP-1-based type 2 diabetes management had begun. Meanwhile, researchers were busy developing liraglutide, a human GLP-1 analogue with 97% sequence similarity to the human body's own GLP-1. As well as effectively lowering blood sugar levels, innovative engineering allowed liraglutide to work for 24 hours, partly by preventing DPP-4 enzymes from breaking it down. Once daily administration was now a reality. Liraglutide was approved for human use in 2009 by the European Commission in all 27 European Union member states. US approval followed in 2010. Other formulations of GLP-1 receptor agonists are in development. To date, millions of people have benefited from GLP-1-based treatments, which allow them to control their blood sugar levels with very low risk of hypoglycemia. Importantly, GLP-1 receptor agonists generally provide additional benefits, such as weight loss, systolic blood pressure reduction, and improving the function of insulin-producing cells. Extensive and ongoing research has earned them recognition by physicians for safety and efficacy in the management of type 2 diabetes. Today, they are included in several international treatment guidelines. Professor Melanie Davis from the University Hospitals of Leicester, UK, who has been involved in diabetes care for over 25 years, believes GLP-1-based treatments have been a revelation. For the first time, we have a treatment which combines effective glucose lowering with weight loss, a lower risk of hypoglycemia, and a high level of patient treatment satisfaction. For me, this is the most important factor. And the story doesn't end here. The GLP-1 hormone has already transformed the face of diabetes medicine today. And scientists are currently exploring a variety of other areas where this hormone could also play a major role tomorrow. Whatever the future holds, the development of GLP-1s is already an amazing story. And it's not over yet. <laughs>